Hello guys, is this the death of Blender tutorials? I'm going to let you be the judge of that. So leave a comment at the end of this video telling me what you think. Today we are going to look at a tool called AI Studio by Google. Now this AI is capable of giving us a walkthrough guide on any software that you have open. It actually works for anything. It's can see our screens and tell us exactly what we need to do. So go ahead, open up AI Studio. Then we can go to Stream Real Time. So here you can see Talk to Gemini, Show Gemini, and Share Your Screen. So in this video, we are going to use this Share Your Screen option. The Show Gemini, you can actually show its videos from your camera and ask it in real time to tell you what to do. That's really awesome. You already know about uh, the real time conversations, audio to audio conversations. So let's go ahead and share our screen. But one thing you need to know is that when you are sharing your screen, anything that shows up on your screen is available to AI to use as it pleases it. So be careful with that or more be aware of that while you're using this. So let's go ahead and click on share your screen. So then I'm going to share my entire screen. So we're about to share our entire screen and click on share. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, I'm going to open the Blender software. And I want you to help me with a few things. Okay, you are going to open the Blender software and want help with a few things. Yes. Okay, what do you need help with? All right, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. You have Blender open and there is a cube in the center of the scene. All right, how do I get started? How can I delete the default cube? To delete the default cube, you can select the cube in the 3D viewport and press the delete key or the X key and then confirm the deletion. All right, that is cool. How do I add okay. a plane? To add a plane, you can press shift plus A, select mesh, and then select plane. Okay, so I would like to make a donut. How can I go about this? To start making a donut, you can add a torus mesh by pressing Shift plus A, then selecting Mesh, then Torus. After adding the torus, you can adjust the size and shape to your liking. Do you need more help with that? Yes, I will need more help with that. How do I adjust the shape? You can adjust the shape and size of the torus by using the Scale, Rotate, and Grab tools. Which specific adjustments are you trying to make to the P-Torus? Uh, where do I find the Scale, Rotate, and Grab tool? You can find the scale, rotate, and grab tools on the left side of the 3D viewport. They're represented by icons that look like an arrow with a box at the end, a curved arrow, and an arrow with a crosshair respectively. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts G for grab, R for rotate, and S for scale. All right, is my cursor on the rotate uh, tool? Yes, your cursor is currently on the rotate tool. Okay, so I'm going to scale this down a bit. What do you think? Is this a proper size for a donut? The donut looks a bit flat right now. You might want to adjust the Z scale to make it thicker. Also, you might want to make the hole a little bigger. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be nice. How do I do that? To make the torus thicker, you can select the scale tool, then click on the blue Z axis handle and drag it upwards. To make the hole bigger, select the scale tool, then press shift and click the red X or green Y axis and drag to scale the torus to get the hole larger. That doesn't seem to work for me. It's displacing the donut. Okay. It seems you are scaling the torus unevenly, causing it to stretch. To scale the torus correctly, you should select the scale tool and scale the object by dragging the white circle in the center of the torus instead of using an axis. Then, when you want to make it thicker, drag only the blue handle. Okay. All right. So what is the next step? How do I make this donut look real? 
To make the donut look more realistic, you can add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth out the edges, and then add materials and textures to give it color and detail. Do you want me to go over how to do that? Yes, where, where do I find the subdivision modifier? You can find the subdivision surface modifier in the modifier tab, located in the properties panel on the right hand side of the screen. It looks like a wrench icon. Click the add modifier button and you should find the subdivision surface modifier in the list. Okay, am I in the right place? Yes, you are in the stream. Now you should click on the add modifier button. Okay, then I should click on what next? After clicking add modifier, you should select generate and then subdivision surface. All right, it's looking better. What do you think? Yes, the donut looks smoother now. What do you think is the next step to make it more realistic? I think we can add some icing on top. How do we go about that? To create the icing, you could duplicate the torus, scale it down slightly, and then adjust the shape using sculpting or proportional editing. Would you like a more detailed guide on how to do that? Yes, I would. But break it down in easy steps. Okay, let's start with duplicating the torus. You can do this by selecting the torus and then pressing Shift plus D. After that, you can press the Escape key to place the duplicated torus in the same position as the original one. Okay, I've done that. Great. Now that you've duplicated the torus, the next step is to scale it down. You can select the Scale tool, then drag the white circle in the center of the torus to shrink it slightly. This will create the basic shape of the icing. Okay, I've scaled it down. Do I, am I doing the right thing? Yes, you are doing the right thing. You've successfully duplicated the torus and scaled it down. What's the next step you'd like to take to make the icing look more realistic? Uh, I think it just looks too perfect. How can we make it look like icing? To make the icing look less perfect, you can use sculpting tools to add slight imperfections and unevenness to the surface. Would you like me to explain how to use sculpting tools? Yes, and where do I find the sculpting tools? All right, guys, so you see, I got disconnected. So you can use it for a while, and then it gets disconnected, and you have to start the conversation all over again. So what do you think about this tool? Do you think this is a total game changer for designers? You actually don't need to spend time scrolling through tutorials just to find that one simple thing now all you have to do is just ask an ai exactly what you want to be done and it will guide you step by step showing you exactly where to click to get your solution done i think this is awesome this might not be perfect at the moment but with time this is going to be a serious game changer Let's go and start another conversation with it. Can refresh, share our screen. Hello, can you hear me? I see you are working on a 3D donut model and want to add materials to it. Since this looks like a basic donut, a good starting point could be a standard, slightly reflective, brown material for the main body of the donut. Do you want to add other material options? All right, we are done for today. How do I save my file? Okay, I can help you with that. To save your file in Blender, you can go to the File menu in the top left corner and then click Save or Save As. Then you can choose where to save your file and what to name it. All right, if you have watched this video this far, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. We are trying to get to 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So the cool thing about this tool is that- you Okay, you wanna type in- interrupts the AI while it's talking. So you can imagine how great that is. Hello there. Is there anything I can help you with today? Yes, I would like you to help me with the outro of my YouTube video. Say something nice to my subscribers at the end of this video. Sure, I can help with that. What kind of message would you like to convey to your subscribers? Tell them to like and subscribe. Okay, I understand. So you want to encourage them to like and subscribe. Do you have any other things you would like to include in the outro? Yes, that if this video gets 1000 likes, 
I'm going to make a part two of this video. Okay, that's a great idea. So you want to encourage them to like the video so that you can make a part two. Is there anything else? That's all. All right, I can help you with that. How about this? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. And if this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll make a part two. Thanks again for watching. Do you like this outro? All right, it's done. Great. Is there anything else I can help you with?